There are a lot of folks hurting out there. A lot of folks feeling invisible, ignored, and justifiably frustrated with what's happening in their lives or in the world around them. And so many of these political issues can feel irrelevant to your day-to-day -day existence, at least until they directly impact your life. When it's your family trying to keep up with the rising cost of groceries, when it's you who can't see a path to moving to your own home, when it's your kids whose school isn't keeping up or the board is banning their books, when it's your family at risk in a conflict overseas or stopped at the border, when it's your son or daughter is the one whose life choices are limited because of who they love, the anger and despair gets especially hard. But during those dark and difficult times, y'all, we need leaders who will connect all with people's pain and address the systemic issues that they're doing. Not leaders who stoke our fears and focus our fury on one another. See, because once you open up that gasoline can, once you wink at hate and make it normal to call somebody a bimbo or low IQ or human scum, look, you cannot control how fast and how far that fire of hate will spread. All of a sudden, someone feels emboldened to say that our fellow citizens in Puerto Rico come from an island world.